I don't know what this is, but it looks like somebody drew a little face on my car recently or something. <laughs> hey everyone, it's the Ionic guy here. Today, I've got an accessory from Best EV Mod. And if you don't already know what this is, this is going to be a deck lid spoiler for the Hyundai Ionic 5. And I'll preface this by saying, this isn't my style. I'm not gonna keep this on my car. I'm not a boy racer type. I don't like the look of things like this on my cars. I've never put them on my cars and this won't be staying on my car. So today I'm going to do a temporary install. I'm not gonna walk you guys through the exact process. There's written instructions for that. Just gonna show you how it looks in case you wanna purchase it. I'll have a link in the description to it on their Amazon store. So this is the matte black version. They also have a gloss black. Since my car has mostly matte trim on it, I'm going to show you guys what the matte looks like with my SEL. It's definitely nicely done, nice smooth surface. They got a lot of 3M adhesive tape on the back. I don't actually know if it's 3M, but it's that type of foam tape that we see on other automotive accessories. It's got a nice clean edge on it. So I think they did a pretty good job with it. Um, I can't really fault them on anything here. It looks like it's decent quality. It is expensive, it's $170. So it's a expensive accessory, but if you want that kind of racing look for your Ionic 5, I think this might be an option for you. I have not seen any other spoilers on the accessory market for the Hyundai Ionic 5 yet, so it seems like they're first to market here. And with something like this, you could always plastic dip it in whatever color you want if matte black or gloss black aren't your thing. And a lot of you people who like to mod your cars, I know you guys do a lot of plastic dipping. So in the box, they also provide you with a roll of blue painter's tape. And this is going to be so you can position the spoiler and then kind of mark out some points along that top edge so that when you do have the adhesive exposed and you're ready to put it on, you can kind of line it up with that tape edge. They also provide a couple packages of adhesion promoter, and this is going to help the adhesive from the foam tape really get a good bite into the paint of the car. And the last thing you want is for this thing to come flying off on the highway at 75 miles per hour and possibly hurting someone. So take the time and do this properly if you're going to do it. So for the purposes of this video, just to show you what this looks like on the car, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna wipe down this edge here, expose a nice clean surface of paint. I'm just gonna tear back a couple sections of that foam tape just to hold it in place temporarily while I get some video for you guys. But you also want this to be dry. And it's really cold out today. It's like 18, 19 degrees out. So you don't wanna install this on a cold day like today. In fact, the instructions suggest doing this over 72 degrees. And I know for a fact, we're not gonna get any 72 degrees here in Connecticut anytime soon because it's still February. We still got at least another month, month and a half before we start to see temps in the, the 60s even. Okay, so I think we got a clean enough surface here. So just holding in place, the edges do want to flex out just ever so slightly. So I would have some concern about these edges coming up at some point, but you guys that install this and keep it on your car, you're gonna have to come back to this video and let me know how it does long term. So I'm just gonna expose the far edges of this tape to get this on the car. So let's go ahead and line this up. Simple as that, at least for me. If you guys actually install this, you're gonna wanna take a little bit more time doing it, but this gets the effect across. So it is actually a very nice fit. And even just with those small sections of adhesive exposed, it feels like it's on there quite well, considering just how cold out it is. Here in my garage right now, it's 46 degrees, but we're about to take it outside into the 19 degree temperatures and we'll see if it stays adhered. I hope it does. So let's go get some beauty shots outside. I know my car is kind of filthy, but I'm not washing it today, so you're gonna have to bear with me.
can see it is pretty subtle. It's not a big gaudy spoiler. Definitely doesn't look too bad, but even still, it's not my cup of tea. For any of you that do decide to install it, it'll be interesting to see if it has any effect on range. Probably not, but there's always the chance. So if you did own a limited trim, I would probably suggest going with the gloss black since the uh, limited trim has a lot more of this gloss black material seen here all around the door frames and everything. So I think that would probably go a little bit better. You can see even with that little bit of tape, the corners are still holding on pretty well. So they're definitely using a good tape here. You can see it's just enough space to fit the emblem. So yeah, if you're looking to spruce up your Ionic 5 with a little sportage, this might be a, a good route for you to take. So if you guys are looking for accessories for your Hyundai Ionic 5, I've done a bunch of videos on them, but why don't you click up here and watch this one. This one is a few more accessories from Best EV Mod, some of which I really recommend. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.